And so as we get ready to drive out of Nova Scotia and head into New Brunswick, uh, Ramon and I and Tara want to say thanks very much for coming along. We're going to stop for a bit in New Brunswick to visit family and then we'll be just uh, moving quickly to get back to dear old Toronto. And I hope you come back for the next trip, wherever that may happen to be. It'll happen soon. But this is not the end. Oh no, plenty more is coming up. We did visit with family and generally enjoyed New Brunswick. We visited a wonderful beach at Cap Pelé, where dear old Tara got in touch with her inner puppy. Okay, there you go. September 17, we're at Magnetic Hill in New Brunswick. Uh, I've never been here before. Famous optical illusion. So we're going to try that out. Okay, drive in right lane to the bottom of the hill, pull over into the lane, pull over into, into the left, left lane beside, beside the white, white post, post, place the car in neutral, and guide your vehicle backwards up the hill. I see. Driving right, right lane in the bottom of the hill, pull over into the left lane beside the white post. Okay. Okay, there's somebody here who's going to help us out. Hi. Hello. Hi. You got Santa English? Uh, English. English. You guys here for the hill? Yeah. yeah. First time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to drive down this side to get to the white post at the bottom. Yeah. At that white post, you're just going to pull into the left lane, put your car in neutral, let go of the brakes. It should bring you up this way backwards. Okay. <laughs> and that works for you guys? Yeah, that sounds good. You can go right down then. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> well, I must admit, you're driving down into a little hollow here. That's what it looks like. And so you think you're going downhill at this point going forward, but clearly you're not. I wonder why they have... Oh, I guess they have you go in the left lane so they can keep up a continuous stream. People coming up the right, pulling over, and going back on the left. That makes sense. Although there's no lineup today. Okay, so it looks like you're at the bottom of a little hollow. And it, it certainly does look, when you look behind you, that it's uphill. Okay, we're in neutral. Break off. Ooh. This is some scary stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's cute. Yeah? Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. And, of course, the... Uh, the thing they like to say is that it's because there's so much magnetism magnetic material in the earth nearby and it's pulling your car back. <laughs> it's yeah. a pretty good optical illusion. Yeah, it is because behind uh, when we're yeah, there's a rise behind us that you can't see over. So it really does give the impression. Uh, but actually what's happening rather than you going up a rise is we're actually kind of leveling out now. Okay. Yeah, that's Can we fun. do it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a one-shot deal. Although there's no other cars here, so they're not going to say anything. Uh, anyway, that was kind of fun. Oh, I do it again. <laughs> oh, you've done it, baby. That's all there is. Doesn't get any better than that. I 
wonder who came up with this idea. Oh, I guess somebody noticed that it looks kind of funny. There's the exit. Okay, that's neat, and it's right beside the zoo. Uh, we were coming, where we were coming to today, anyway. After a quick visit to the Magnetic Hill Zoo, we dropped in at a typical country-style fair and corn maze. This one's an annual event in the Moncton area. Lots of fun for children. Look, Tara, horses are coming. Hey, Tara. And another one at the top. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow, good eye. I saw something black, really black on the hillside. And yeah. I thought, oh, wouldn't that be funny if it was an animal? And then I started to answer some plastic bag. And then when I got closer, oh, yeah. it was a baby bear. Yeah, and there was another one that was not small. It was not big. We're on the way to the town of Cabano on Lake Temiscuata, which offers a spectacular view across the water to a national park. This region is named San Luis de Aa. What? What in the world is a ha-ha? In 1709, an ambitious gardener named Desalier d'Argenville explained how he protected his garden from accidental trespassers without the use of walls or grills by creating a deep ditch. The eye is surprised by the ingenuity of a wall without use of a wall and makes one laugh. He called them ahas. You will see ahas at modern zoos where you can feel so much closer to the animals without a wall between you. Lake Temiscuata is a effective haha to the park beyond. San Luis de Aa is the only place name in the world to have more than one exclamation point in it. Westward Ho, a village in England, only has one. We're tired and I'll look at the lake and wait until morning. Oh, what? 
Warm water, cold air. Oh, well. We cross from Quebec to Ontario. In four hours, we'll be home.